Hey guys, just doing another uh, quick little video. As you can tell by uh, the parts I got sitting here, my MTXL is in pieces. Just doing uh, a thorough walkthrough, I guess you can say, before I even run this thing. I haven't done the break in, hasn't even seen the fuel. Uh, so, basically, the purpose of this um, video is this is a reg regular. Uh, stock rear diff gear um, so basically taking it out you can see there's not very much grease on here uh, for you guys just getting into the fifth scale or even getting these MTXL or DBXL or 5T or whatever go through this stuff um, that needs way more grease on there uh, for in that diff housing so but I guess the number one thing that I noticed, I did have the diff housing apart. Uh, I'm not going to take it apart again. Um, but I believe it comes with only 30k diff oil in the rear. Uh, I'm going to assume the same in the front and probably a little higher in the middle. Um, I'm going to get into taking those apart again uh, at a later date and inspect those as well. I'm expecting more of the same as to uh, what was lacking in the rear um, also underneath here if you can see it there's these two screws holding this brace in um, I've tried with a drill I've tried with allen wrenches I'm going to completely assume there was probably other um, machining material from this when they were threading it or they used red loctite because for the life of me, I cannot get these screws out to get this off. Um, which isn't a big deal. As you can see, I did get it apart. Um, which kind of sucks. It turned out to be easy, but it was a little more work. Um, I just took the uh, body mount and shock tower and everything off. Kind of had to take everything apart. And it still slipped out. That's not an issue. The reason why you had to do that um, is because this larger portion of your rear diff housing is too big to pull out um, with the body on. It, it'll just hit the, the bottom of the uh, shock tower and it'll also hit right here. So yeah, you have to take that assembly apart if you have issues with these screws being seized in there stuck in there um, I popped in some three-in-one oil into the top to see if that'll change anything um, hopefully it'll lubricate it enough and I'll get it off but other than that um, so yeah taking that uh, diff apart it has very very little diff oil in it um, I'm definitely going to be changing it out. I'm doing upgrades. That's why I'm inspecting it. I'm um, going to be going with the hot racing diff cup. Uh, front, rear, and center. And then I'm going to be going with 100k in the rear and front. And 100k oil. Or 500k oil in the uh, middle. So that's why I got it apart. And yeah. It, if you're not planning on upgrades. And you're just going to run this thing. Definitely take it apart like this. And check your... Uh, oil fluid levels in the rig uh, like I said this uh, rear diff housing here it has very little oil in it uh, nowhere near what it should um, and without that oil you guys will find or anyone for that matter uh, you'll do some damage if you don't have the right amount of oil it needs to be thoroughly lubricated everything look clean there's no parts shavings it's they did a good job in that part of it it's not dirty or nothing like that uh crystal clear just not enough oil so that's pretty much where i'm at i'm leaving things apart right now um i'm going to be ordering the uh fid um diff housing uh to put in here um it is normally for dbxl but it's fully 100 percent compatible uh, I'm also going to be ordering the FID um, diff housing carriers as well. That would be these right here. Um, yeah, just turn this drive line basically front and rear, uh, middle if I can. Um, 
more bulletproof. Um, not really any worries of the 29cc engine being too much. Obviously it's not. Uh, this is just my preference because I do plan on putting a larger in there, probably an OBR uh, for an engine, maybe 46cc, and see where that takes me. So that's my update, guys. Definitely check this shit out. Go over your uh, equipment. It's a must. These are expensive uh, pieces of equipment. Um, you know, having to constantly work on them all the time is kind of a pain in the ass. So I'm doing it right, right from the start, doing my upgrades, and uh, I'm not going to have any worries. And then from there, if I need, uh, you know, anything more of an upgrade, I'll tackle that when I get to it. But this is what I'm doing for now. All right, guys, have a good one. Uh, just thought I'd do an update. Thanks.